Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of limits. And this question, we are taking this up from the year 2021 of JWE mains. So if I talk about the question which is given to us here, the question tells us to find the value of the limit where n tends to infinity. And the expression which is given to us here is 6 tan summation of r equal to 1 to n tan inverse of 1 upon r square plus r plus 3. So this is our entire expression given to us. Not r, it is r square plus 3, r plus 3. And there are four options which are given to us as can be the value for this expression. That is 1, 2, 3 and 6. So we need to figure out which one of the following options is the correct answer for the question given to us. And if I solve this further, I can write this first 1 upon r square plus 3r plus 3. If I try to write it and simplify it in the form, I can write that as 1 upon r square plus 3r and 3 I can split it as 2 plus 1. So you get it 1 upon r square plus 3r plus 2 if I try to split and solve that quadratic equation. I can write that as r square plus 2r plus r plus 2 plus 1 which is equal to 1 upon r square plus 2r plus r plus 2. If I try to solve that, from this two I can take out r common r plus 2 plus 1 common r plus 2 plus 1. So you get this expression turning out 1 upon r plus 2 into r plus 1 plus 1. So I can write this further as r plus 2 minus r plus 1 the whole upon 1 plus r plus 2 into r plus 2. So I am writing the denominator as it is but I am just making the manipulation here to write my numerator like this. So that r and r gets cancelled and you get 2 minus 1 which is 1. So that's the whole idea for the expression that is simplified. Now let's try to write our expression. So we have this entire expression given to us. So if I write this. So we simplified this idea. Now if I take that idea with tan inverse first. So let's find that also. So tan inverse of that entire idea that I'm writing. I can write that entire expression as tan inverse of. This becomes r plus 2 minus r plus 1 upon 1 plus r plus 1 into r plus 2. So what you get here is tan inverse of x minus y upon 1 plus x into y. That makes it tan inverse of x minus tan inverse of y. So you get this entire expression simplified like this. Now with this tan inverse we had a summation also which is r equal to 1 to n. So r equal to 1 to n tan inverse of r square plus 3r plus 3. That is equal to summation of r equal to 1 to n tan inverse of r plus 2 minus tan inverse of r plus 1. So you get this entire expression if I try to solve this. Putting r equal to 1 I get tan inverse of 3 minus tan inverse of 2. If I put r as 2 I get tan inverse of 4 minus tan inverse of 3. Then I get tan inverse of 5 minus tan inverse of 4. So that is added and added and added. Till the second last term if I put n minus 1 here I get tan inverse of n plus 1. Minus tan inverse of n minus 1 plus 1. So n plus the last term would become tan inverse of n plus 2 minus tan inverse of n plus 1. So what I understand from this entire pattern here, which is formed for summation of r equal to 1 to n, tan inverse of 1 upon r square plus 3r plus 3. 
so i am understanding here a pattern that is being formed so that in the first term the first part is equivalent to the second part of the next term and both of them are present with positive and negative signs so all of those terms are going to cancel out so every term which is present in between will be cancelled out we will be only left with this term and this term so we get this entire expression simplified as tan inverse of n plus 2 minus tan inverse of now let's try to solve this further so if i try to solve this i get this tan inverse of n plus 2 minus tan inverse of 2 so we have that with the limit applied to this so 6 tan of Six tan of we have tan inverse of n plus two minus tan inverse of. So if I apply the limit first to this expression, six I can take out limit n tends to infinity tan of tan inverse of n plus two minus tan inverse so if i apply the limit here i get 6 tan of tan inverse of infinity plus 2 which is nothing but tan inverse of infinity which is pi by 2 minus tan inverse of so from this expression i understand 6 tan of 90 minus theta is nothing but cot theta so cot of tan inverse of 2 i can write this we already know this that tan inverse of theta can be written as cot inverse of 1 by theta. So I get this expression written. I can write that as 6 cot of I can write this tan inverse as again cot inverse of half. So cot and cot inverse gets corrupted and you are left with half because we know cot of cot inverse theta is equal you get 6 into half, which is 3, and you get the answer for the question turning out to be 3. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with this idea of trigonometric functions mixed with the idea of limits. So, answer for the question turns out 3, and you get the correct option here. That is option C. So, C is the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question. I will see you again tomorrow with some other questions from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11, 12th as well as JW mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of JW questions. Thank you.